Hello and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to cover the sweep feature or tool within Fusion 360. As you can see on screen, I've created four challenges or activities, and this will help to either introduce or develop your knowledge and skills associated with the sweep feature. Any of the files, completed models, or drawings to allow you to complete these activities can be found in the description below. So we're going to go over to Fusion 360 and start. So as you can see here, this is the first activity we're going to complete. And what this has got, it's got a circle, which is the profile, and it's got a path, which basically this circle is projected along and it follows that shape. And this is the simplest sort of technique we could do to start off with, with the sweep. I'm going to click on plus. I'm going to turn on my origins and I'm going to click sketch. I'm going to select this plane here. I'm going to press C for circle, and I'm going to sketch out 30 millimeters. And I'm going to save that sketch. And then I'm going to go to sketch again and choose this bottom plane this time. So it's going to pan this down towards the bottom here because I want to create a sketch on here. And I'm going to use the line tool, so L for line. What I can do here is type in each dimension for each line. And I can go along to create the path. I require. I could let's go down again. I could just sketch this out roughly and then add the dimensions in later. So that is another technique if you want to do this a little bit quicker. Press D for dimension. You could come in and dimension all these lines here. And I've got one at the top there, which is shrink. And if I stop in lazy and zoom in a little bit, select that line. There we go. And again, that needs to be 75. Now I just need to make sure I'm going to dimension this to be 60 and dimension this to be 60 as well. What you could have done is use some of these features here. So any of these lines, which are all the same, like 61, I can click on each one of these lines and I can use the constraint of equal. And then once I dimension one of the lines, all of them will change. So that's one way of doing it. And I could have also done the same with each of these vertical lines as well. But it's good to practice dimensioning in this way. I'm going to click the green tick, go to the home view, and I can see here I've got my circle. And I want it to go along this path to create my design. So I'm going to go up to create. I'm going to choose a sweep. So like you may have seen before, if you hover over each of the features, it gives you a preview of what we've got and how you can actually use this tool. So I'm going to go on sweep and I'm going to use the single path. I'll cover the other options in here, okay, in the other activities. But to start with, we're going to go single path. The profile is the circle and the path to follow is this path here and as you can see very very quickly it's created my design and what I can do as I've shown you before in other activities if you watch some of the other videos is if I right click on any of these I can edit the sketch and I can adjust any of these features and update the sketch like so and now that's the 20 millimeter okay circle that's going through this path and the same again I could always go back in and I can change the size of any of these sketches. Another thing that you could do as well under options in feature is the distance. So distance is one. So one means it's 100%. If I type 0.5, it means it'll take the circle on this path halfway. Or if I say 0.75, it's sort of 75% along that path. Okay. There are other options in here which I will go through, okay, in the other activities. But for this simple one, we're going to choose full, these to zero, new body, and click on OK. And that's the first activity completed. The next challenge for the sweep we're going to do is to use a sweep to remove material. So rather than creating material, this is going to remove it. So as you can see in the bottom right corner, this is the next challenge we're going to have a go at. So I'm going to jump over to Fusion 360. And what you'll see here is the actual challenge or the design that I need to create. 
So what I've got here is a basic square that I've extruded. I've then created a rectangle on this face here, and then I've created a path for that to follow. And then I've selected the option to cut, and that removes this sort of channel or maze design from the main body. So what we're going to do is click on the plus, and we're going to have a go at creating this. So I'm going to turn on my origins, and I'm going to click sketch. And I'm going to go on this base work plane. We go up to create, and we're going to use a center rectangle. I'm going to draw out a rectangle that is, or square actually, that is 200 by 200. I'm using the tab key to go between the two dimensions. And when I'm happy, I'm going to click enter. I'm just going to click on our house or the home button so we can see what's happening. And I'm happy with that. I'm going to press E for extrude or go solid and extrude. I'm going to drag this up. Now, if I check the drawing, the dimension for this is 20. millimeters, so I'm happy with that, so 20 millimeters thick. And then I'm gonna create a sketch on this front face. I'm gonna use a corner or two point rectangle, and I'm gonna drag this out. And the size of this needs to be 10 in terms of its depth and 20 in terms of its width. But again, I can use the tab to go between the two and enter when I'm happy. And what I'm gonna do here is dimension this line here or the point to the datum or the center point by 10. So it's going to be halfway, so half that distance. Click in the house and then click the green tick. So what I've got is I've got my profile. Now I need my path for it to follow. So I'm going to click on sketch and the top surface. Just going to move this into the middle of my page so I can see what's happening with the pan tool at the bottom. And I'm going to start using the line tool. And the line's at the top where you can press L on your keyboard. And I'm going to go from the center. Now, because I've drawn that rectangle on that center anyway, it's going to snap to that. And it comes up with a triangle on X. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start creating my dimensions. So I've got 35. And then coming across, checking the drawing, it says 80. And then again, it's going to go up 35. And I'm pressing enter each time to confirm my dimensions. And I'm going to come across here and type in 160. And I'm going to continue to do this. So I just drag that dimension out of the way. So let's click in space and just drag that down out of the way. I'm going to continue to go up here to create my path using the line tool. So there's different ways of doing this. You could draw it freehand and then dimension it afterwards, or you could dimension it as you go. So you could do this, dimensioning, or you could go, right, I'm gonna go across here, I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go across again, I'm gonna go up again, and across again, and up and snap it to that top edge. So I did a bit of freehand there, so I need to come back along and I can start typing some dimensions in. So what I need to do is there's various ways to do this. You could dimension other lines, or we could come in and we can actually use some of the constraints to make things equal and add some constraints. So what I'm gonna do is at the moment, this is moving, same as these. So I'm gonna select this one here and this one here, got equal. And then same again, I'm gonna select this one and this one got equal right and then what i've got there is i've got the same dimensions all along i'm going to click the green tick just going to turn those origins off so you can see what i've got so i've got a profile and a path for it to follow what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go up to sweep again single path this time i'm going to click the profile which is this and a path that i want it to follow which is that. Now, because it's going into material, it automatically knows I want it to cut. So rather than join, because it wouldn't create anything, so creating this other body within a body. Okay, I'm gonna go cut and click okay. You'll see on some of these other options, and we'll go into this further in future videos in terms of bodies and components, and then the intersect 
what you'll see the intersect is rather than uh, cutting it away, it actually creates an intersect between the two bodies and it will essentially create the path. Well, I want to actually subtract that. So we'll just go back in here, go cut, click OK. I've created that sort of simple sort of maze design. So that's another way you could use a sweep. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.